This is the process of how to change the battery on a John Deere Tango robotic lawnmower. I'm doing this in reverse, so just follow these steps in the opposite direction to uh, do the whole job. This is what the battery looks like. Okay, so the battery sits in here and it's held in with four screws. They are T30 Torx screws. You're gonna need an extension because there's not a lot of space on some of these screws. Just pop these in. So there's four screws holding the battery in place. So I'm using T30 on a bit of an extension um, rod just to get in there. battery is now secure the battery clip just pushes in so that's the battery connected obviously the mower's in the off position like I said you're going to do this in reverse so when you get to the end you'll see me putting the power back on the lid here sits on top and there's two connections electrical connections to be made so you've got a small power lead that connects into here there's only you'll see the two connections when you take the lid off and there's a ribbon cable that just comes into the circuit board here And that's the two that's the two connections to the lid and then the lid just sits happily on top it's quite well made it all goes together nicely so almost looks like it's back together i'm just going to flip this upside down now and make sure that it's uh, the lid's still in place mower's upside down and this uh, that lid was held on by uh, six um, 10 mil bolts m10s so there's two near the handle we've got two on the sides A bit fiddly one there it's one this side Don't make this easy for big fingers, that's for sure. So there's four so far, and then there's two up by the coaster wheels. Now these are a bit of a pain because they're in like a deep, a deep hole. Not easy to get in at all. Come back to that one. There's another one there. Probably best to put that in the socket first. I'll just tighten the others up first of all. I was using a normal socket set, but that was no good because it didn't fit in the holes near the coasters. So I had to get a small 10 mil socket on a screwdriver because that fits in the holes. Let me just get these tightened up. There's 
Swap pans. Two. to go you can see it's in the off position so make sure the whole thing's off before you start this process two at the front now a bit fiddly see they're down in a deep hole so a normal socket set doesn't seem to want to fit in there that's number five in there and the last one six bolts going in incidentally the reason the battery goes on this even though you leave it in the off position over the winter and plugged into the charging station the battery dies so i think my advice is uh to have the mower i know you don't, don't want it cutting during the winter but probably have it on um where it just does a little pass once a week just to keep the battery charged and working so back the right way up again. I haven't put the um, blade on yet. I just want to 